the two angles, right, is really what you're measuring, which we'll get into in a second. The complication is that astronomers measure one of those angles in degrees that we used to, but they measure the other one in hours. And it just confuses the issue. So although if you want to, I can get into that, but it really quite, takes quite a lot of explaining as to why they measure one of them in hours and the other one in degrees. So I can if you like, but it's... Uh, may, well, maybe we'll save it for another video. That's... Obviously the coordinates of the planets are changing all the time. Mm -hmm. Jupiter's coordinates on one night will be different from another night. Do the coordinates of the stars and the galaxies change much? So galaxies not, because apart from the fact that the coordinates are changing, the whole coordinate system is changing with time, the galaxies themselves really aren't moving very much. Um, stars, nearby stars, have their own what's called proper motions. They actually move because the stars are moving around in the galaxy. And those effects are also big enough to, to detect. So if you want, want to look at a nearby star, not only do you need to know what its coordinates are and be able to process those coordinates to make sure you update the coordinate system to, to the particular night you're observing, but you have to know what its proper motion is to see how much it might have moved since the catalogue that you're reading it from was written down so that you make sure you allow for that and point your telescope to wherever the stars move for. Now, the, the, the size of these are quite small, they're sort of a few arc seconds typically per year, uh, or even a few arc seconds per decade. Um, but even that can be big enough if you really want to make a precise measurement, uh, you can point your telescope in the wrong direction if you're not careful. There was a satellite that went up uh, in the 1990s called Hipparchos, which recorded the positions of about a million stars very, very accurately, and also measured this effect, measured these proper motions, the fact the stars are moving. And so if you call up the online version of the Hipparchos catalogue, it has all this built into it. So if you want to see it, look at a particular Hipparchos star, you know exactly where to look and when. The, tr the real problem is in astronomy, there are just so many objects out there that actually remembering the detailed coordinates, the, f the telephone number, if you like, of any one of them is a very hard thing to do. And just as nowadays everyone has all the telephone numbers programmed into their mobile phone, so we just have all the coordinates programmed into our computers so we know where they are that way.